is it possible that we are poisoning ourselves and causing our own lifestyle diseases? And I just want to use this pack of playing cards to demonstrate how many toxins and poisons we put into ourselves every day. So when you wake up in the morning, you go to the loo, and um, after you flush, you spray the air freshener, which has got a whole lot of toxins and poisons in their fragrances, and then you wash your hands, probably using a cheap liquid um, hand soap. You have your morning coffee, which, unless it's organic, is the most um, pesticide, fungicide, and herbicide sprayed um, product <laughs> in the world. And maybe you go and have a shower using a cheap skin drying out shower gel, not to mention a shampoo and conditioner that are also full of sulfates and things that are not good for your skin. And of course, your skin absorbs everything. You rub yourself down with that towel that's got the detergent residue that didn't come off in the rinse sack, which goes into your lovely, newly washed, moist skin. You shave using a shaving gel or a shaving cream, maybe. What about those little gel packs on your razor blade? Or you put facial cream on and makeup. One for eyeshadow, one for mascara, one for eyeliner, one for blush. And then you put your deodorant on, which is full of chemicals. And you put your cream on, which is full of fragrance chemicals. And you change into your clothes, which are washed by in that same laundry detergent with a residue that goes into your skin as you go through the day and get a bit sweaty and the pores open a bit more. Go and have your breakfast, which might be a highly sweetened processed cereal. Have another cup of coffee. Is it organic? Climb into your car, put the air conditioner on. Or you leave the windows down and get those lovely toxins from the traffic. Go through the parking lot where the generator is busy spewing out all those toxins. Have your coffee at work. What kind of coffee are they serving? And so then it comes to your mid-morning break. What do you have? More coffee? Maybe a packet of chips? Lots of nutrients in there. Something sweet to just get that energy back up. And then you go to the loo and you wash your hands with the works. Cheap, outsourced, liquid hand soap. Work hard for another few hours, have lunch. Is it a packed lunch? Probably not. Is it a, a lunch from the canteen? What's in there? Is it a working lunch? So you go out to a restaurant. What kind of sauces are they using? Lots of sugars, lots of artificial flavors. So delicious, so bad for you. And then you have your mid-afternoon snack more coffee or more caffeine or maybe a caffeinated cool drink for um, just that kick and maybe chocolate things. because you need to get through the next couple of hours so no real nutrition there and after your mid-afternoon tea you go to the loo and you use that soap again back through the parking lot breathing the fumes back through the traffic breathing those fumes and then you get home and you're tired so we're going to make a quick meal Probably not one that's super nutritious, so like two minute noodles or some kind of crumbed fish or chicken out of a box, Maybe some vegetables. frozen vegetables, again, not the greatest nutrition, and then some delicious desserts, and then your chocolate at the end of the day, and then you change into your PJs with the same residue that you washed all your clothes in, and then you brush your teeth. Why do you think they say fluoride, fluoride toothpaste? in such big letters on your toothpaste tube. And then you remove your makeup, wash your face, maybe, maybe not. You're gonna sleep with those chemicals in your skin all night long, or you're gonna wipe them off and put new chemicals on. Some more face cream. Sleeping on your pillow and your sheets washed in the same detergent with all those chemicals in. All of those things, I'm not even talking about how many times you put hand cream on during the day or used a lip balm, or walked outside into the smoker's corner and breathed all those chemicals? Or did you wash your dishes and your pots with gloves on? Did you make your tea or coffee in a mug that came out of the dishwasher, which has dishwasher residue soap on? Then you pour your hot water into that, and that cup can have up to seven layers of dishwasher residue on it, which now goes into your tea or your coffee. 
So let's count how many chemicals I've just spoken about for one day. So here's 48 chemicals at least that you've been exposed to in one day. So it's not hard for me to say you've got about 52 chemicals that you're exposed to every day, which is basically a pack of cards, which means you're exposed to this amount of chemicals day after day after day after day, week after week after week, year after year after we year. why these lifestyle diseases develop when we're so healthy. So what can we do about all these toxins that are in our bodies? The first thing is to make better choices. So if you want some extra help, be the guide from your life. What does this do? It actually goes through the body looking for toxins and heavy metals that have been dumped in our system from all the poison chemicals that we have in our lives every day. And these little guys go and they wrap those heavy metals and toxins in minerals and antioxidants so that the body can actually pick it up and take those toxins out the body can actually pick it up and move them from the fat cells where they are waiting to cause all these lifestyle diseases and it detoxes the liver on the way out you really can't do better than this this was developed by dr arthur first who was a renowned toxicologist so he knows what he's talking about